Yeah, Alberta Premier Jason Kenney is getting hotly criticized for his views on removing names and statues of historical figures with ties to the creation of residential schools. Here's some of what he had to say. If we want to get into uh, cancelling every uh, f figure in our history who had uh, who, who took positions on on issues at the time that we now judge harshly and rightly uh, in, in in historical retrospective, but if that's the new standard, then um, I think almost the entire founding leadership of our country gets cancelled. So, what do you think of his comments? Oh boy, this is a, he's getting it for this one, isn't he? Um, I think the first reaction I had to this was, I don't know that this is as much about cancel culture as it is about people wanting to have a complete picture of history. There's that huh. saying that the history books were written by the victors, right? And so, you know, we have one concept in Canadian textbooks that gets taught to kids about the settlers, the explorers from France. I mean, we have all those textbooks full of those stories. I think what we're reckoning with today, and I hope that Jason Kenney comes to learn this, is what we have of the picture of Canadian history is this big from a story that's actually way bigger and far more colorful with so many more players. And so this is about contextualizing the work and the role of the founding fathers and what was happening in the larger Canadian landscape. So I, I hope that this is not just, you know, white fragility kicking in, saying, oh, my gosh, they want to replace our history with one that we don't know. I, I don't think that that's what's happening here, Jason Kenney. What I think happening is people want the entire picture, the complete picture, with all of its warts and all, to show Canada what really happened and not just one perspective of what happened. It's, it's it's a novel thing what you're describing, Mel. It almost sounds like you're describing like a history class or the very <laughs> nature of history in general. Like we remember history, we think about it, we reevaluate it, we write it. If if Jason Kenny wants to call that canceling Canadian history, I, I guess that's fine, but it kind of makes you sound like you never had a history class in your entire life. And no one is saying that. John A. Macdonald or, or Hector Lewis Langevin can't be founding fathers anymore or Macdonald can't hold that title of being called our first prime minister. People are suggesting to rename some schools, particularly one named after the architect of residential schools that, you know, resulted in 150,000 kids being taken from their homes and I went many to that potentially school. thousands dying. Like, that seems, it seems reasonable. It seems like history. Yep. I think we do have to reconsider a lot of those things, especially, uh, you know, when, when you know, know better, you do better. And you're right. Uh, yeah. like, you, to go back to the history class thing, like, I don't know about you, but my history class is, I was so bored. And history is interesting. <laughs> there are interesting characters. But the way, we've talked about this on the show before, it was like, oh, you know, European settlers came over, and they, it, like, there's this impression that, like, everyone shook hands and traded some stuff and then <laughs> wandered away. And it's just so flat. And I think, actually, these kinds of, you know, talking in the history books about um, some of the horrors, talking about also some of these people who were multi-layered. You take Johnny McDonald, for example, and I mean, like, again, I remember learning relatively nothing about him, but except that he was the first prime minister, but it turns out he was a bit of a drunk. He made a lot of mistakes. He did things definitely um, that are now shocking. But as at the time, leaders at that time were, were Kenny's right, they all were problematic. For sure. Um, but he was also unusually liberal minded for that time. So I think we do need to talk about I don't think pulling down statues is the only answer. I think it is one part of an answer. But I think that we need to both look back at the history books and do a better job of portraying these characters and these individuals as full, complicated, flawed human beings, um, while also maybe, maybe either... take them out of the center of the story. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, which is Just not the same thing it. as disappearing someone from history, Jason <laughs> Kenney. Um, let's well, go to well, uh, Sabrina on Facebook. Sabrina says, someone needs to sit this man down and explain to him the difference between cancel culture and doing the right thing by those who are affected by the atrocities, in this case being the First Nations people. Take a page out of Germany's history. They remove the glorification of statues and monuments by placing them in museums where they belong as part of history. 
The truth wasn't canceled. It was contextualized to be a remembered part of history, to never be forgotten and repeated ever again. Uh, Sabrina, done and done. I mean, it's too bad we have like a few more minutes to fill up this show because otherwise we'd be rapping because you just said it all. Uh, but I, I think too, we're talking about, when we talk about cancel culture, and I think a lot of people deliberately conflate this, they conflate cancel culture with call out culture. Like, you know, this whinging about cancel culture and canceling Johnny McDonald again, like, Cancel culture is not Thanos. You can't snap your fingers and disappear a prime minister from Canadian history, Jason Kenney. So, you know, but there is a such thing as call out culture and call out culture has helped. It is interrogating the past that we have been conditioned to believe and thinking about it a different way as Mel, you were saying. So I think we definitely need to start working on separating what is cancel culture and call out culture, which is calling out to have a discussion, pointing out things that were overlooked, pointing out nuance, and again, part of a conversation. Now, I'm, I'm not going to give a history lesson, I swear, but I did want to say like that in ancient Rome, they actually did try to cancel people. They had a name for it. I don't know how to say it in Latin, but it meant like the condem condemnation of memory. So when a shady emperor or sen senator passed away, they'd melt down their statue statues, <laughs> remove their names from documents and like rewrite history, like scrub the history books. And it happened to both Nero and Caligula, who I just like to add whose names we still know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> they didn't go yeah. away. No, <laughs> they didn't go away. Well. No <laughs> snap there. Yes. No snap. Yeah. And I think, you know, to, to end the convo, I think when it comes to statues and monuments or buildings, here's an idea, Jason, and maybe other premiers who might be grappling with this. Why don't you ask the Indigenous community what they would like to see happen? Just a thought.